What is going on? This is Jung McCullough, also known as the Tech Chick, and welcome back to my channel. Dudios has three sets of truly wireless earbuds, each priced under $35. If you've seen some of my previous reviews, you know that we've already taken a look at the Dudios Free Minis and the Dudios Zeus Aces. Today, we're going to unbox and take a look at the Airs. Now, they each have different sound signatures, so it's my goal to help you determine which pair is right for you. All right, so let's take a look at what you get in the box. On the front, you've got Dudios branding in full lettering. Pictures of the earbuds there. Zeus Air also down here in foil. True wireless stereo earbuds. Comfort Fit, IPX4 waterproof, and a 380 milliamp battery. Sound with substance, I totally agree. High fidelity sound, clear voice calling, long lasting playtime. The Dudio Zeus Air True Wireless Earbuds feature deep bass, clear treble, and a clear human voice with no latency provided by an upgraded Bluetooth 5.0 chipset with high quality and stable transmission. Auto pairing is easy as you simply pick up both earbuds from the charging case and they will connect with each other automatically. And then enter into pairing mode. Search for Dudio Zeus Air R on your phone to pair with it. The True Wireless headphone has a low power consumption with the upgraded 5.0 chipset. It supports 4 hours of playtime at 60% volume and an extra 15 hours of playtime with a backup recharging case. The Bluetooth 5.0 technology also improves the technology of calls by stereo and noise cancellation, so you will hear clear voices from both earbuds in stereo mode. Although these earbuds are, are made of plastic, they're pretty solid. When you use the touch button controls, it's not so much pressure that it hurts your ears, and the earbud itself is enough size on it so that if you do press, you can grip around the sides to take away some of the pressure. One thing I will let you know, seal is everything for these earbuds. Out of the box, I can't tell you what you might get, but you've got to make sure that you choose the right ear tips for your ears and create that seal. If you don't, you can lose quite a bit of sound quality. Let them play for a little while and they will tune in nicely. I promise. What I've learned by listening to all three sets of earbuds by Dudios is that bass is important to me. And in the case of these three, they're all different, yet still the same. And the same in terms of being high quality. I know you're looking at that sub $35 price, but for this price, you can't go wrong with Dudios. Let's begin by comparing the cases. The Dudios Airs come in a case with no lid. And quite honestly, it can be alarming but what I found is I can drop these on the floor and the earbuds are not going to fall out. Very solid, well-built, thumbs up for me. The Dudios Zeus Aces. Slightly larger case, slightly translucent lid. So I can actually see the LEDs through this if they are on or flashing or what have you to let me know what kind of battery life I'm working with. The Dudios Free Minis. Very, very tiny case. I don't know if the smaller case is actually appealing to me. However, I know for some, size does matter. And in this case, the smaller size may appeal. So let's take a look at the earbuds themselves. The Zeus Airs and the Zeus Aces are nearly identical. No difference there. The only difference between these two in terms of form and structure is the size of the case. I'm going to be honest. I can see how it would be easy if I own both pairs of these to accidentally put them in the wrong case. The Free Minis went with an entirely different earbud style. They are rounder. And in terms of functionality, the, the Free Minis are touch controlled. So in order to play, pause, skip next track, voice assistant, you're just gonna tap. You don't have to press, that was good. Sound quality is where these earbuds differ. 
and it's almost a case of good, better, and best. The sound quality of the Zeus Airs is really good, especially, especially for a $25 set of earbuds. I have been listening to these for about a week now. And of the three, these have the least amount of bass. They have good bass, but the least amount. If you like podcasts, spoken word, pop music, these will do. If you're looking for a set of earbuds to take to the gym to work out, do your chores around the house, listen to audiobooks, these will do just fine. If you want more bass, if you want to feel the music and you like R&B hip hop and some EDM, I'd say go with the Zeus Aces. If bass is extremely important to you and loudness, you cannot go wrong with the free minis. Again, it's all about your preferences. It's difficult to choose from a brand that has three sets for sale at the same time around the same price point. But remember, it's all about sound signature. Good, better, best. One thing I do feel about these earbuds is I sometimes, it's like I have to do too much to create that seal. And I've tried the different ear tips and I, I haven't put comply ear tips on them, but if I'm gonna pay $25 and the comply ear tips are $20, I just feel like I'm doing too much. Okay, off the bat, the airs give me some acoustic reverb. It's not echo, but there is a hiss, and I don't like that. I'm gonna see if I hear the same thing in the Aces. I honestly could not find the sweet spot when I had those in my ears. Um, I know it's there. I know it's there, and, and, and again, if you use these correctly, you're gonna be very pleased. There is a clear winner. Just go ahead and get the Dudios free minis. The bass is phenomenal, the hiss is gone, the reverb is gone, and there's very little latency when you're watching YouTube videos or Netflix or whatever you're watching on your phone. It's that simple. That's my review on the Duty of Zeus lineup. Please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any content from the Tech Chick. It's been real. Peace.